It's a me, Wario, everybody. Welcome back to Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. In all seriousness, it's me, Color Forty. Hi, everyone. Praise be to God today. So I think we'll start this episode off by showing off what happens if you equip both the W emblem and the L emblem. If you do this, it's me, Waluigi. Wah! <laughs> so we get to play as Waluigi from now on, or at least for this episode. I think that would be fun. Waluigi is one of my favorite Mario characters, so I'm very happy with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is march over here, and there's a couple of secrets over in this area that we can get now that we have the Ultra Jump. So you can see this pole here while well, we're going to start by grabbing onto this part, and we can shimmy our way across this water. It's a long pipe, but that takes us over here to this pipe that we couldn't reach via the boat. Okay, nothing over there. You always gotta check, though. It's a nice seaside hut with a star piece inside of it. Very nice. Now this is one of the rare pipes where we don't get a clear marker of where it is. It's just close to the top of the platform though, so no need to worry. <laughs> Waluigi was made for climbing the pipes! Wah! <laughs> Waluigi seems to have lost some height and put on a few pounds. He also has a very interesting mustache now. Wah! <laughs> So now the other thing is, if we go up to this side of the pipe, you may have remembered that on the other side of this wall there's a crack, but it's not on this side. But that doesn't matter. Bobbery? Blow it up! And that gives us the Defend Plus P badge. Boosts your allies' defense by one. That's very nice. I really should equip those. Because I, I just recently got a Defend Plus badge and that new Defend Plus P badge. So I rearranged my badges. I now have the Defend Plus badge equipped, and I unequipped like Spike Shield and a few other ones that didn't really matter all that much. Hey, Dazzle. I've got 11 star pieces. Let's finally get Happy Flower. And we'll also get Peekaboo, because that's a unique badge. So now that we've got the Ultra Jump, there's also some more stuff we can do in this part of Roboport Sewers. You see that pipe up there? Of course you do. Okay, well, there's a shine sprite over here. Ultra jump into it. So there are only two shine sprites I have left in the game now, and both of them are, are in World 7. So, I'm pretty happy with that. So there's only one trouble left to do for this world. It's Chef Shimmy, get these ingredients. I need some ingredients for the cooking food that savages the tonsils. I need three things. A golden leaf, a mystic egg, and a keel mango. I'm waiting on board the XS Express for your very prompt help. So yeah, remember when I said that I was really smart and got all the gold leaves I'd need in Twilight uh, Creepy Steeple? Like, early? All at once? Yeah, apparently I forgot about the one you need for this mission. So I'm gonna have to backtrack to those three different worlds and get all of those ingredients. So first, <laughs> let me make sure I actually have room for them. Yes, I do. Very good. Hey, dude, I know I'm broke, but do you happen to have something for sale that I need? Nope. So I won't bore you guys with all the backtracking. I will cut just to when 
when something inter interesting happens. Before I head into Twilight Trail, I might fight an Amazy Daisy, so I want to make sure I'm well equipped. So, let's start out with the simple stuff. So yeah, these are the badges I've equipped. I'm basically equipping all power badges. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can deal the maximum amount of damage possible to... Oh wait, hang on. Actually, I'm gonna change things a little bit more. Sorry about this. I'm gonna unequip damage dodge and damage dodge P, so that way I can equip... Where is it? Power bounce. And... Gee, I could equip one other thing. Oh, I guess I'll put refund back on. Anyhow, with all this extra power, I think Mario is getting four extra attack power now. So that's pretty good. And with first attack, I can walk these guys out of the way before they're a problem. Basically, I want to meet an Amazy Daisy. Preferably two, one on the way to Creepy Steeple and one on the way back, and I can get some very, very nice star points if I defeat them. They're like one of the few enemies that consistently give you star points even one <laughs> up until you reach level 99. Here we go. Here's the Amazy Daisy. All right. So for the Jumpman badge, we can only jump, but we also are incredibly powerful, so let's power bounce. Awesome! Yeah, look at all those star points. Isn't that nice? Plus, Bobbery can just take these guys out easily. I don't even need Bobbery. Well, it's a good thing I have Bobbery. And look at all the star points we get for the fight! <laughs> yeah, 40-something star points for one enemy. Mmm. I probably needed more HP, if I'm being perfectly honest with myself. Mario became an A-list star! Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get even bigger! Well, that's very nice. Alright, so the daisy next to the red block in front of the tree tends to spawn the most. Amazy daisies. I tried to fight the other daisies a lot, and I never encountered an amazy daisy from them. The Waluigi outfit really fits Twilight Trail. Grinding on amazy daisies does take a while, because they rarely spawn. But, let me tell you, if they do spawn, that's half a level up right there. At least at this point in the game. Oh, come on! I hammered him. I guess, I'll, I guess I'll show off uh, the newest uh, star, crystal star ability I got. Showstopper. Only takes two star power meters. When successful, defeats all enemies in a single blow. So basically it's like Fiery Jinx, but you just have to do it more. Or I guess Veil. B-Y-X-Y. A-A-Y-Y-Y. And it, obviously it's different every time. But it's very easy to do. And it's pretty much guaranteed to work. Especially on weaker enemies. And you didn't see that there, but if I had used that on an enemy that actually would have given me star points, it would have still given me the star points. None of this, oh, but it's an insta-kill, but you don't get experience for that. No, nope, you get experience for that all the way, baby. Alright, I got all the ingredients, so it's time to do Chef Shimmy's request. This requires going on the XS Express again. The train is bound for the luxurious Poshy Heights. Yes, I will be boarding. Here's my ticket. And this is the only ever time in the entire game we're actually going to ride the train. All aboard! Thankfully, the train ride is not as long as it was <laughs> in Chapter 6. I think you can pretty much just say, I'm going to sleep, Day 2. I'm going to sleep, we're at Riverside Station. I'm going to sleep, we're on Day 3. I'm going to sleep, well now we're at Poshley Heights. And we always get put in Cabin 5. Oh, hey there. Journeys bring such joy and such sorrow, but they all are valuable memories, right? I agree. Hmm, you're a good person. 
Hey, you. Hello! Yes, hello to you! Thank you for accepting my request. Okay, I literally have given Chef Shimmy a different voice every time. I need three ingredients. A golden leaf, a mystic egg, a keel mango. Each one has an exotic taste and aroma that will enhance my mushroom dishes. Have you found them for me? Here's your golden leaf. That shining golden leaf! This is it! Thank you much! Here's your mystic egg. That puzzling mystic egg! This is it! Thank you so much! And here's your kill mango. That colorful kill mango! This is it! Thank you much! Now I have all the ingredients. They called to my palate and my skill, begging me to turn them into delicacies. Thank you so much, my friend. This is your reward. We get 40 coins. Not bad. We got an amazing daisy out of it, too. Oh, hey, little guy. Kablooey! Wow! I'm a wild gunman. Yeah, like a sheriff or something. And I've got Gonzalez, the supervillain, in my sights. Free sucker! Kapow! Okay, okay, there. Easy, little guy. Yeah, there must be different passengers on this time. Let's check him out. I'm trying to muster the courage to write a note from the road to the girl I like. There are so many things I want to say. I wish I could get into the spirit. I feel you there, bud. I often have a hard time figuring out what to say to people. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, I'm so hungry. Okay. Is Waluigi not good enough for you? <laughs> I finally agreed to a train trip once my kids had kind of pestered me into it. But seeing their innocent joy now that we're here makes it all worthwhile. Aww. The scenery outside the window rushes by just like Fazoom! You know, like Fazoom! It's awesome! Okay, I guess. Trains are pretty darn fast. Ghost's cabin is still empty. You're back? Really? The food is so amazing here, I don't think I ever want to leave the train. Actually, I put on so much weight that I can't get through the door. Yeah. But I have room service bring me stuff now. Still, I really should figure out how to leave. Pfft, yeah. That's a problem, dude. Oh, hey, dude. I'm a professor at Goomsley University. I'm researching the feeding habits of the wild smorg, but I just cannot find any. You were... you wouldn't know where I could find any, would you? Dude, why weren't you on the last train? Yeah, I heard Zip Toad was definitely on this train really recently. And yeah, I bought a ticket just to see where he stayed and maybe ate. And so then I was like, yeah, 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 I got my ticket! But then the worst thing, someone said it was a fake. What a huge bummer. A total stinking bummer, you know? Hey, Papa! Huh? Whoops, wrong person! Super sorry about that, Mr. Mustache person. Hey, no worries, dude. Yes, I would like to go to the bed to, for the night. I wish you could just warp straight to Pashu Heights at this point. Now it cuts to Riverside Station, I think. Yep. But I don't want to stop at Riverside Station. I've already done everything here. No, don't kick me out of the train. I want to get back on. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's get right back on. Okay, everyone, you had two seconds to get stretch your legs. Now let's go! <laughs> Come on! Mario's in a hurry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Waluigi's in a hurry. <laughs> Waluigi's gonna draw on your map. Wah! <laughs> Waluigi's going to live in the life of the lap of luxury. At Poshley Heights. Wah! <laughs> Whew. 
<sighs> Thank you. Bosh the heights. That was the slowest Magic Koopa ever. He was just like, oh, it's Mario. <laughs> no, he must have been like, oh, it's just Waluigi. Okay. Wait a second, that looks like Mario! That's pretty entertaining. Nope, get, get up. Hey, no, nope. No, no. Enough dawdling, we're going to the seventh world. Gotta take my trusty Gumbel with me. Bam. Let's go in. And Waluigi is in a great mood. Let's get started, shall we? Chapter 7 Mario shoots the moon. More like Waluigi shoots the moon. Wah! <laughs> This is like Shiver City, but lamer. Wow! Seriously, it's so cold! Let's hurry up before we become popsicles! Far Outpost must be just ahead. So let's start by getting us that star piece. I don't exactly know where all the star pieces are, so we'll play it by ear. Shine Sprite behind the tree, that's an evil place to hide it. And yes! More puff enemies. Probably should have equipped multi bounce. That's a bit of a problem. Alright, well, I want to get rid of one of them, at the very least. Goodbye. <laughs> but with all the defense that I have, they can't even damage Mario. And that's the real joy. Alright, let's tattle on them at this point. That's an ice puff! It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Yeah, they get 4 attack and they don't damage me. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's strong, cold, uh, storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? They're vulnerable to fire, though, so let's try that, maybe. I feel like it's almost a little cheap that they can't even damage Mario, so maybe I'll unequip Defend Plus and equip some more useful badges. I mean, don't get me wrong, Defend Plus is amazing, but when you're taking on a lot of enemies, it almost might be better to have, like, multi-bounce or something else. So let's unequip that one, let's get multi-bounce. Also, Hammer Throw is a good one, just in case they get... I store up a ton of energy. I uh, will also get Power Smash, Power Jump. We'll also turn back on Charge P, I think, just in case Yoshi needs to be used. Yep, that looks good. Whoop! Hi! Nice try. Is that in your hands? Is that a dizzy dial? How dare you! That was a cool pose, Mario. Oh, and that is why I equipped Hammer Throw. <laughs> Take that, you doofus. And I also, I just realized, did I equip Quick Change again? Because I really need to have Quick Change equipped. I don't. Well, we gotta change that. Alright, no charge P. No power smash, no power jump. What do I have equipped that's taken up so much? 
BP. Am I not supposed to have all these defend pluses on? Because that's weak. I guess I'll unequip the damage dodges. Because quick change is just so helpful to have on. And I need more BP. Start piece back there. Frost Piranhas. You remember these from Shiver City, right? Actually, maybe I should unequip Power Plus? Because as awesome as it is, it's really not helping me against these enemies. That's a Frost Piranha. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Its biting attack sometimes freezes us, so try to immobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks, too, so use them as well. Okay, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Koops is at max level now. He's got sh uh, Shell Shield, which protects both of them from Mario from a giant with a giant shell. And then that is basically a more powerful version of Power Shell. Oh, it pierces their defenses. I actually did not know that. So now he damages five, which is quite a bit more than he used to. I still miss Cooper and his Fire Shell, though. Alright. Actually, no. Goombella is not going to be useful. Let's get Vivian. Okay, sorry, Power Plus, as awesome as you are. I'd rather have Damage Dodge. Hey, dude. Bonk. Vivian, would you do the honors? Ooh, very nice, Vivian. Maybe we'll turn on Power Plus once we get into the dungeon, but for the most part right now, it's not really helping us all that much. Oh, fun! Do I have any items that can help me out here? Let's call Art Attack. It's always a fun one. And I'm not confident Showstopper would kill these guys, since they're still giving me a good amount of uh, star points apiece. Goodbye. Thank you, Dupless, for giving me Art Attack. That really helps me out. That Piranha just cannot decide where he wants to go. That's hilarious. Wait, what? It didn't spit it into the ice pump? That is dumb. Well, I just ate for a lot of FP, but at least I still have a ton of HP. Alright. HP plus P badge! I may very well sell that. Start piece back there. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mother Russia. 
also known as Far Outpost. But they're wearing the Russian hats, so... Whoa! Far Outpost! Where's this cannon that that's, can shoot to the moon? Let's chat up some of these vocals and see what they have to say, okay? You know it, Sid. And I saw a star piece back here. Welcome to Far Outpost. Whoa, that is quite good lip warmer you have got. Okay, I now give you my special mustache viewing personality analysis, da. Ah, hmm, da, da, hmm, da, da, I have it now. Your bushy broom means that you are stubborn and selfish, man. So, how did I do? No? Do not protest, I know. No one likes to admit their faults. Well, that's rude. This is Bobum Village, da bluey. There is nothing here, da bluey. Yeah, sure, it seems to be locked. Hello, traveler. First time in Far Outpost Kabui? What? Far Outpost Cannon? Wah, wow, I apologize for that. No, I just had distraction. It is nothing. Kapawi. Really? Hey, you free. We are the chewy wanderers, the traveling sisters free. We came to Far Outpost for the skiing and ice skating, but there's nothing here. It's cold! It's too cold! I told you we should have at least checked the guidebook before we came here. Yeah. That would have been good. Oh, this guy. Um, Monsieur Lestache. I have tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn and she kicked me out. Now I must use the heat of my feelings for her to melt the snow. Yeah, yeah, what? Well, in coupon back there. Ooh, actually, it would be very nice to use the inn here. Because I am low on stats. Hello. Make body and mind better, da. Welcome to inn. Give me that inn coupon. Oh, that's warm. That's nice. Your sleep was good, da. Enjoy day. And they give us some free space food. Good luck figuring out how to make space food. Item shop here. Yeah, ice storm. Six coins. That's what I was looking forward to. Store up to ten items. Actually, not so much store. More like sell. I'm selling the freaking space food. Excellent. Oh, that's pricey maple syrup. Free ice. Oh, hey! That worked out. I got an ice storm as a shop reward. Um, I guess then I will buy a maple syrup. <sighs> yeah, I do need to get a maple syrup. Man, actually, shooting stars here are cheaper than they are from the weird peddler guy in report. Star piece back there. And that is the last shine sprite in the game. So that's pretty cool. We got all the shine sprites now. Hey, dude. Da, what business do you do have here? What? A cannon? No such thing is here. There's a cannon right behind you. What? You crazy man! There's gotta be a cannon around here somewhere! It's right behind you! What do you want me to say? We do not have one! Really? What do you call this then? I know it's not actually a cannon, but you have a cannon monument here. Clearly that means something. Okay, well that didn't work. What? Did I not tell you we have no silly cannon? Now listen here, you're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? Oh boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. Shush! You call yourself a babam, I spit at you. You know rules. There is to be no mention of cannon to non-babams. No mention! We must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard! 
But we must use that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm, ha, world could end. Um, well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission of Gold Bob to use cannon. He is the one who started whole blasting things to faraway places policy. Once he got rich, he let business slide and does not start it up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. But he was so depressed by losing of job that he took cannon key and left. Gold Bob and General White. Duh, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Bob and General White. Very well then, we can't give up now, old boy. Mario, let's find those two. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Well, that went easier than expected. At this point, I've had the 55, almost 56 minute recording mark, but most of this footage is getting cut out, so I have no idea actually how much footage is actually being shown. So it's hard for me to judge when I should stop the video. Hang on. I want to make sure that I didn't forget any star pieces here before leaving. Good thing I checked before I left. There's actually a star piece that I uh, missed. And there's a good reason for that, because it's in a hidden panel. I missed in how in the first one you can use the Ultra Hammer to just instantly unearth the hidden panels. Those were the days. Anyhow. Well, we finally got a new level up. <laughs> it's snowing in the audience, and it is wonderful. BP. It's BP. It's gonna be BP. BP is just wonderful. Alright, what else could I equip with BP? Pierce... At this point, I'm gonna equip Piercing Ball rather than... Power Smash? We're gonna need it for some upcoming enemies. Quake Hammer will also be very useful against them. Ice Power would be the stupidest one to equip in this world. It would do nothing. Alright, I guess I'll also equip Power Smash. We now have a ton of Hammer Badges equipped! Hi, dude. Man, like, everybody's got Ice Storms now. Showstopper, I love you. You are so useful. And I just realized I never actually showed off Sweet Feast yet, because I thought we could show it off during the Smorg battle, but we all know that that was not necessary. <laughs> I will show it off. Sometime in this Let's Play, I will show it off, because it's really useful. It's like sweet treat, but like so much better. Fewer poison mushrooms, way more stuff for you guys, and it just refills more stuff. <laughs> for those of you who don't realize, I was trying to mount my Yoshi at that point, and landing on their head it counts as a jump. That's amazing. I feel like I might actually be underleveled at this point. Because after I got two level ups, these guys are still handing out two star points apiece, and the enemies in the rogue port sewers are also handing out two or three star points apiece. So maybe I should have grinded on some more Amazy Daisies. Anyhow, now we've got to go to Gold Bob, and then find General White. But first, however, we've got more pressing matters! Hey, dude! Sayonara. And by more pressing matters, I mean there are a lot of more recipes that we can make now. Alright, so let's start first. Honey syrup and a nice storm. Sounds weird, I know, but just go with me on this. 
Ice Storms are simultaneously better and worse than Snowman Dolls. I think they, in battle, do the same thing that Snowman Dolls do, plus freezing enemies. And they can actually be used for recipes. But they're not as cool as Snowman Dolls. So for that, we get the Icicle Pop, a dessert made by ZST. It says it replenishes 10 HP. This is a lie. It replenishes 10 FP. Believe me, I almost had a game over because of that mistake. Now we're going to do Maple Syrup and an Ice Storm. Ooh, it's, it looks like it came out perfect. Yum, take it. We get a Zest Frappe, a dessert made by Zest to you. Once again, it says it replenishes 20 HP. That's a lie. It replenishes 20 FP. Now we're going to do Golden Leaf with our last Ice Storm. So honestly, you could make these as soon as you get to Kiel Hall Key, or once you leave Kiel Hall Key, because they sell them there. But again, the ice storms there are way overpriced. Not worth it. And for this, we get a snow bunny, a zest tea dessert that refills 15 HP but freezes you. I haven't actually eaten this, so I'm not sure if that is also a typo or not. I feel like because it freezes you and that damages you, it would it more make more sense for it to be HP. But I've never found out because as soon as I get it, I always mix the snow bunny. And this is the weirdest thing ever. Mix it with the spicy soup. Now this one, the RDM issue actually flat out tells you the secret to. Because without the RDM issue telling you this recipe, you would never figure it out. It's a couple's cake. Food that slowly restores HP. You can't eat it alone. Yep. It's not great, but it, I figure at the very least we can sell it or use the refund badge. One of those two. If this were the first game, we would have max BP at this point, because I think I have 30 now. Nope, you can go all the way up to 99. Hey, doofuses. So guess what? We gotta go back to Poshley Heights. Because that's where Gold Bob is. In hindsight, I probably should have timed this so that when I got out of the XS Express for Chef Shimmy's request, I could just talk to Gold Bob right there. So, it's easy to have better planning than Artie, everybody. Hey, Gold Bob. Good day to you, Gonzales. What can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the cannon in Far Outpost to save the world? Hmm, well that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well then, I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you pay? If I may ask, I'd give everything I have. What? You'd pay every coin you own? All of them? You, uh, really? So, really? Yep. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know that means you'll be left with zero coins, with absolutely nothing? You know that, do you? Yep. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all of your coins, and I would mean all of them... You would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. No, I've got, I've got the, I've got the recipes that I can sell. But hold on, I, I want to make sure you're doing the fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. Yep, you have to say all this. I can really take them all, really. You won't say just kidding later on or any sort of tomfoolery like that. Well, all right then. Hmm, well, you've certainly shown me something, sir. So, I give you my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. 
we get the Gold Bob Guide, Gold Bob's user manual for the Far Outpost Cannon. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose, but I'll return your money. Now, soldier on, my boy. I've always, I don't know about you, I have always pictured Gold Bob to sound like Mr. Banks from Mary Poppins. And I got an email. Hot dog, maybe it's a girl. RDM issue 6. RDM issue 6. Rogue port today. An unknown businessman, age 30, was taken into custody today by port authorities as he tried to board the blimp carrying large amounts of a volatile red liquid. After a few tense moments, authorities identified the liquid as a spicy condiment and the businessman was subsequently released. Our RDM reporters were mystified by the followed unsolicited comment, buy our new hot sauce, folks. Shop Reporter Go. This week we have the pleasure of introducing the fabulously luxurious shop on the XS Express, the Sales Stall. This unique boutique on the exclusive train of the independently wealthy just reeks of money. But perhaps the idyllic landscapes rushing past will loosen your purse strings, says the impeccably dressed manager of sales. Come one, come all, be you rich or not at all to our lovely sales stall. He then announced a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show him the screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. Why is it the shops that offer the double points in the next 15 minutes are always in the most out-of-the-way locations? Cooking for Rookies! This is it, Rookies! You finally made it to the big leagues. Today's recipe is an advanced level one. Today we'll be making ink pasta. Just boil fresh pasta until perfectly al dente and mix lightly with inky sauce. Perfecto! Get ready for gourmet chow tonight. Editor's note, can you believe it, dear readers? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. Published by the Rogueport Restoration Committee. Mario's like, oh, this is such a boring episode. We should probably end it soon. Yes, I think we should end it soon. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune the next time, we'll be tracking down General White and then blasting ourselves to the moon. Should be a hoot and free quarters. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.